Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm gonna be talking about Whole Foods. Not the foods, but the store. And is it actually healthy? I went to Whole Foods during my prep for my bikini competition um, a couple months ago, and I was set on finding a low calorie alternative to Caesar salad dressing. I was so disappointed when I could not find anything that I wanted. There was no such thing as a low calorie, low fat Caesar salad dressing. So if anyone wants to like hop on that bandwagon, it's desperately needed. But not only that, I was further disappointed when I started picking up other salad dressing bottles and they weren't low calorie either. They were still high in fat, still high in calorie, and I, I was left with such a bad taste in my mouth. Um, I was so mad. I thought that everything inside Whole Foods was all a marketing scheme. Um, I was not finding anything low calorie. I walked out with absolutely nothing. Like I could not eat anything that I went in that store and looked at. Well, I ended up going back to the Whole Foods store last week. My main intention was to go grab some plant-based protein, um, like tofu, tempeh, seitan. Well, I also wanted to showcase that Whole Foods was not everything that it seemed to be and that it was unhealthy. When I went in, I was surprised. I went in with an open mind, okay? There's actually a huge array of fruits, vegetables, and all around like good for you foods that are nutrient dense and duh, Whole Foods. I was blindsided by this because when I went last time, I completely like was tunnel vision salad dressings. I ignored all of that. So when I walked in and I saw it all, I was completely shocked. They have a lot of great produce. Yes, it's gonna be slightly more expensive because it's all organic. Um, if you're looking at the meats, they're all probably like grass-fed, lean. Um. So do I think that it's worth it to go to Whole Foods and go buy your fruits and vegetables and all that? Um, personally, I wouldn't, it's a little pricey and I don't find a huge difference in the quality of my meats and vegetables when they're organic and grass-fed as opposed to them not being organic and grass-fed. But that's all up to preference. Um, no shame in anyone's game for doing that. So here's what you've all been waiting for. Here's the lowdown. Is Whole Foods actually healthy or unhealthy? The reality is it's all up to you and the choices that you make when you walk into the store. But this can be true for any store that you go into. Just like I can go to Walmart and make Walmart healthy for myself, I can also go to Whole Foods and make it unhealthy for myself, as I did before. So this goes for any store that you walk into. If you are going straight for the processed junk, everything that's bagged and unhealthy, high in calories and not going to fill you up, yeah, you're going to make it an unhealthy store. But if you walk into that store and you're looking at the fruits and vegetables, rice, everything that's good for you and dense in nutrients and dense in fiber and all that good stuff, then you're gonna make any store that you walk into a healthy store. So a lot of what I said earlier in this video is still true. A lot of the healthy snacks, healthy foods is a marketing scheme and it's a big marketing game, especially in stores like Whole Foods where you're thinking everything is gonna be a better alternative for you. Just because a snack is marketed as air popped or air fried or whatever it is, it's supposed to be better for you. That doesn't mean that it's true at all. When you go into those stores and you look at like a bag of chips or a bag of puffs or whatever it is, and it's supposed to be lower in calorie or higher in protein, take a really good look at the macros and compare it to something else, like something normal. You're gonna see that a lot of the time it's not much higher in protein. Sometimes it's about the same in protein. And sometimes the calories are only less by like 10. So like I said before, just go for the nutrient dense foods, go for the fruits and vegetables, and you're gonna end up being way happier with the choices that you're making in the long run anyway. So is Whole Foods actually healthy? Well, like I said, that's gonna be up to you and the choices that you make when you step into that store. And this is true for any grocery store, any store that you're walking into. But yeah, that's it for this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite grocery store to shop at is and maybe I'll swing by and check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.